Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again for another episode here of Farming Simulator 2022. Yes, we are back. Ooh, excuse me. We are back here in Elm Creek. Losing my voice already. This does not bode well. We are just pulling up into our former, well, sunflower field. I think we said we're going to do oats here. Okay, no, but here we are going to be doing uh, sunflowers. So we have it set. Uh, we've got our brand new John Deere tractor on this. And as you can see, we can uh, basically uh, fertilize. So this is a second fertilization coat and plant our sunflowers. Now the big $64 million question is how long will all this last? Because this is a big, beautiful, massive field now. So I have a feeling we're going to have to make a few fill-ups along the way. But that's fine. So this is our big goal today. Now, it's not the only thing we're going to be doing. But getting these sunflowers planted is definitely key. Because uh, this these sunflowers are going to continue to make us some very good money that will allow us to make some nice new big investments as we've done this season. Now, speaking of further investments, uh, $70,000, $70, so I spent $5,000 already getting some more seed and fertilizer for the things that we need to accomplish today. Uh, and I had thought, you know, uh, well, maybe I should buy a new seeder. Uh, it would be really nice. I actually went on to Mod Hub. I did download some mods. Uh, you know, whether I get those or something out of the base game, TBD. But you know what I really realized is I do want to buy that barley field. Uh, that's basically the last piece uh, right next to our farm. Uh, and we, so we need to save money for that. And that's going to come up. Uh, and the reason why we need to save money is we really won't have a lot of opportunity to make any really good money until later in the season. So... Definitely a lot of the stuff that we're going to be up to in the near term is about, you know, planting stuff, seeding stuff, fertilizing things, taking on, I think, some contracts until we can harvest again. But as you've seen, a lot of stuff we harvest is for productions at this point. Uh, so but the problem we do face is unless I sell stuff out of season, out of price, um, that is much lower because most stuff is really good in January, February, or I guess December, January, February, for the most part. Uh, you know, it's a long wait in between, you know, big chunks of profit. So doing a little research, I, I'm looking to invest in another production chain that will hopefully provide some some nice money, maybe mid-summer or early spring, like May, June would be, be nice. So not today, not today. But of course, there are other things that I do want to invest in, such as a sugar factory. That would be nice. Uh, so we're not doing that yet, but that does raise the question of, well, if we were to get a sugar factory, where do we plant the sugar? We need the sugar cane. I think it's sugar cane that we need to plant. So that is, you know, now we're at the point in the series where, okay, it's not just about making money. Uh, obviously, we've got good production here with the canola fields over there and the sunflower field here. And that field is going to become oats uh, to make sure we get some straw. And then uh, grass, so that's silage and hay. So we've got a lot of good staples, but next we need to start expanding out to make sure we can make some crops that are for other supply chains. Now, some of those actually do require wheat, uh, um, so definitely something we can do. We've just missed that, that season, that planting season, so that's why we're going to do the oats. But I think what we're going to do here for now, we are going to put uh, some lucky individual. There you go, my dude. Uh, it's going to take over because I do want to get... Ooh, that is a glorious stash. And those what is it, mutton chops, I believe they're called. Looking good, my friend. Looking good. So we have some other things to do. 
And that is, I do want to plant uh, the grass here. Uh, at least, I think in both fields. So if we come here, and let's just make sure we get, yeah, there we go. Oop. There we go, got that down. I guess don't need to lower it yet. So this uh, field definitely requires a touch by the owner because we've only got a few spots that we actually need to plant the grass seed right here. And then along the edge there. But uh, that field there, I think we're gonna make grass as well. And that should round out our grass fields. Oh, come on. Ooh. Ooh, come on. My dude. This is... Yeah, this tractor, which is my front loader tractor, which, yeah, we use uh, all the time, I, I swear these. It is in need of some TLC for sure. But let's get this done. And, and that was the annoying thing. I was trying to be very careful when I planted that plant it, placed those sheds, but we did get some destruction. And I don't know of a way to uh, paint this back in. You can only paint dirt and meadow grass and things of that nature. You can't plant the real grass to fix a, a glitch when it placed, I think it was concrete here. So it's fine. It's. Well, I was about to say almost fixed up, of course. Missed just a tad right there. And just a little bit. There we go. All nice and fixed up. So now we can come and get this stretch over here. So this will be good for us as well. Um, we are going to fertilize it. And I think we're going to grab a couple of fertilizer contracts as well. Okay, make sure everything's on. There we go. Because, well, we're going to have the fertilizer out. And we can make a little extra money. And as you know, uh, fertilizing contracts are probably the best contracts. Obviously, they do require a bit of investment in the fertilizer. You can always uh, borrow some equipment, so not a big deal. But obviously, we've got the best fertilized spreader right over there. So we'll definitely use it. We've got the tractors, all good. Yeah, I wish I really could have replaced the, the cedar, but could at least one. Oh, I, hmm, no, we're, we're in it. Um, next, by next season, Yes, that is the goal. We'll have a new cedar, much larger working width. So we're just going to get this done. Then I think what we're going to do is we'll take this tractor over to where we want to plant the oats. Get that started. Got a little work to do here. A couple patches as well. So yeah, we're definitely going to be set for grass, I think. Um, that'll give us plenty of hay and silage and and sometimes just pure grass for our lovely, lovely sheep. Yeah, I do love this shed here. I think this is the right play. You know, what do you guys think? Did, did I make the right decision by putting a nice shed down here? I, I think it works to keep this as a, as a grass field. You know, maybe those wooden sheds, which look really nice, were a, I think they were $44,000 each. So maybe that wasn't the best way to spend the money. But I've, I've been wanting to redo the front uh, yard here for a while. So I think, uh, I think it's worth it. I would still love to remove uh, that red uh, shed over there. But maybe put something else there. But we'll see. We'll see. There might not be anything... Uh, that really works. If you have ideas, uh, do let me know. But yeah, I think I'll be happy with this. We'll get plenty of grass uh, for silage and hay, along with the other fields, and make money from it, because that is good money. 
And I think last season we weren't making all the money we could have simply because I was at times forgetting to do the second fertilizing. Oh, come on. Come on. Put her in gear. Go, go, go. And actually, I think what we're going to do, uh, because we do have... Oh, I missed that bit right there. We have to go back this way anyways. Got a little edge to do here, but we'll take this to the shop. Yeah, this... I do want to keep this John Deere, because uh, it's the one with the front loader for now, until we can get, you know, another tractor, but... We do need jobs like this done, but it definitely does need some some TLC. And that is not the learning channel. So obviously a little tender love and care will do things pretty good. But yeah, if we can fertilize this a second time, we'll get a much better yield. So got to try to keep on that. Oh, the uh, helper that was doing the sunflower planting is out of room, or out of, out of room, out of probably seed and maybe fertilizer, could be both. We'll have to have a look-see. But first, uh, let's get this to uh, the shop and all fixed up. Yeah, you can see the uh, John Deere, yeah, needs a little TLC. The, the cedar is fine, so we're, we're not going to worry about that. But we will invest the $9,000 into getting that repaired. We have the oats selected. Uh, and now we're just gonna, we're just gonna put this guy in a helper here. Well, sorry ma'am, you can take care of things here while we grab this. Okay, we're out of fertilizer and we're almost out of seed. So, of course, we have uh, these things in two different uh, places because, of course, we do. First stop is at the store where we, of course, store our fertilizer. Get that uh, filled up, filled up. There we go. Quick little top up on the seeds. So this is now good to go again. Now, we'll get things started again now. The big $64 million question is, can I get it continue going in the direction I want and not redoing parts of the field? That would be nice. But as you can tell, this is going to require a number of passes. Or sorry, well, number of passes for sure, but a number of refills. So I think I might just bring over uh, the, the seed and the fertilizer over here when I get a chance because yeah um, hmm, what do you think um, well besides just missing that little bit let's get that uh, hmm five more refills maybe five we'll uh, definitely find out um, so it's been one so far, but this is doing pretty good. Uh, so I think it's it's nice that this planter does both the fertilizing and the planting. Definitely want to get a cedar that does both. So that's just one less step we need to do. Makes things on the farm a little more efficient, especially if we can get one that is a much wider working width. You can see our tracks here. Pretty cool. Of course, they disappear pretty quick. Okay, so we're going to put this on a worker. And let's just see if... Cop out. Hopefully, hopefully... We'll turn left. Come on. You can do it. There we go. We're good. We are good. 
I think it's now time to take on a few uh, fertilizing uh, contracts. So the first one I believe is going to be uh, right here. So we'll hop in. Yeah, we have field 40. Uh, we will accept that one, sir. Samuel, we got it. And Zach, we got your field as well, field 58. So let's take on that one. Just make sure we are full width. We are. We can now definitely lower things. Yeah, this is field 40, right? Yeah, we are. So this will be a nice little quick and easy contract. We'll bang this one out ourselves and then we'll get our uh, machine over to field 58. And probably by that time, the sunflower planter is going to need to be refilled once again. But that's fine. Um, it is the main purpose of what we're trying to accomplish today. But obviously we need a bit of money. And I did spend some more money on getting a some more fertilizer because we needed some. We had one bag, uh, one full bag left. But I want to keep that for our cedar. So we will fertilize our fields as well. But we'll just get these contracts uh, going and out of the way. Now we did fertilize our canola fields, I believe, last episode. Because those are much more important than our silage fields. We want as much canola as we can get in order to uh, really take advantage of our oil mill production, which has been a very good first production investment for us. As you can see, we are almost done. The question is, when will we be done? Hopefully. Hopefully soon. Bueller? Bueller? No. Oh, there we go. By the hair of our chinny, chin, chin. There we go. Raise that up and we can get ourselves bombing over to build 58. It is in the uh, bottom corner, but... Never you mind. We'll get ourselves there momentarily. Well, here we are at field. Well, this is not field 58. This one here is uh, field 58. Somebody's blocked. Well, that's just plain rude. How much you want to bet? Oh, no, they got themselves unblocked. Uh, I was wondering if it was our cedar. But hey, that's good timing. Um, we'll put that on a helper. Hop back here. Get things folded up. And no, I did not get a chance to bring over the, the seed and the fertilizer. But yeah, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have a few trips. So I definitely think as soon as we get this uh, topped up and started again, we will get some more seeds, some more fertilizer, transport it over. Now, the good and the bad of all this. Uh, this doesn't take much fertilizer. Uh, so I think we'll have enough for what we have here at the farm. But bad news is it doesn't take a lot of fertilizer. So that, ooh, that's lots of that seed bag. Uh, all right, so we're gonna double bag it. Uh, Baggins. There we go. We have things going. Let's turn it on the helper. Now, I'm not sure. Oh, they did finish. No, they did not. Okay, this did get blocked. Uh, okay, so let's take back over. Drop that. I, I saw worker worker B. Yeah, the uh, AI get uh, stopped, and I only saw one warning. I don't know if there was multiple, but, or this uh, helper was just a quitter. It's like, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's that's very tough for me there, boss. Can't get around that, so I'm just going to wait here and collect a paycheck. So let's just move that to the other side here. It wasn't as if uh, we crossed the streams a la Ghostbusters. Yeah, if, if you haven't caught the era of, of, of my vintage here, 
Yeah, Ghostbusters, Ferris Bueller's uh, Day Off. Uh, two movies. Highly, highly recommend you go check out if you have not uh, seen either. So, but there we go. Okay, that's hooked back up. There we go. Uh, which way? Okay, we're good here. Worker went in the right direction. And you can see... Yeah, 89% versus 82%. Yeah, definitely draining much faster. Well, well which we've always obviously seen. We've refilled that a couple times. Uh, but let's... Whoa, where are you going? Okay, let's take you back over. Um, did you get uh, nervous? Uh, the boss watching? Okay, that happens. Shrink the uh, spread here. Quickly finish off uh, this field as well. There we go. Okay, so let's quickly collect on these two contracts. So $8,300 less the uh, fertilizer investment, but that's fine. I We're definitely uh, on top of what we've uh, spent a little bit of effort, a little bit of helper uh, income there, or helper expense, but that's fine. While we have the uh, fertilizer out, we'll uh, knock over a traffic cone because reasons. Now, we'll get uh, a second uh, coat of fertilizer on our front field. You know what? Is this the field we can do? It's been a, it's been a minute. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, we have expanded it. Yeah, that's right. So this won't throw the entire field, which is unfortunate. But as you can see, most of it, but uh, we'll just go down the edge. Not a problem. Oh, this, this part will be a problem, though. Who put this here? Rude. Very, very rude, obviously. Uh, I think that should be good for now. We'll go down one more. Now, we talk about cutting the grass here. We're obviously, uh, well, we're not worried about getting right to the edge of the shed. But I'm not exactly sure how far we'll end up going. Okay, we can shrink that down a bit. So this will be good. Going to be very happy. Some nice uh, future grass and silage and hay. So good, good, good. Is that what? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Didn't have to widen that. Who put that house there? Okay, that's the one drawback with that plan. But we're good. We're fine. It's all fine. You know, until you put these next to your pickup truck, you, 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 you don't realize how big those bags actually are and obviously how unrealistic it is to, uh, to basically pick those up. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's what happened. So it's all good. And, you know, thinking about it here, I've got this lone beehive, which I do want to put another one here. But maybe a small little shed for seed and fertilizer might not be a bad idea right here. You know, if you think about it, that way, keep a small storage shed, maybe put another beehive. I think that could work. But I can tell you what won't work is leaving my pickup truck here. Actually, let's leave it behind. You know, because what could go wrong? Let's make sure we roll up our windows nice and tight. Uh, and maybe putting them on the other side wasn't the best idea. 
Oh, there we go. We're good. So we will set uh, this back on a helper, taking care of this field here. And the reason for that is I do want to get the grass planted on our field next to the pasture, next to our new barley field. At least get that going. I think we'll just let that uh, happen as, as the rest of the, the episode finishes out. But I think that will make... Uh, make things easier uh, and as well we do need to uh, put down some fertilizer here but yeah we got I guess two more passes up and down and then we're, we're done running low on seed but I think we should be good for grass I hope with about 10% left 11% well we'll see We'll, we'll, we'll get done what we can get done. But yeah, you can see our spring planting is coming together. Very excited for that sunflower field. It's going to look glorious. The Instagrammers, they're just going to love it. The TikTokers are going to come out. And then I guess the uh, the old folks home with the tour bus for the Facebookers. Yep. That was once young and hip. And then came TikTok. That's fine. That's fine. All right. We are finishing this up here. We can get our grass field going there momentarily. That is done. Yeah, and the simple reason why this is going to be a grass field at this point is I am planning on putting more sheds. But for now, the answer is uh, let's just put everything as grass. We'll get that barley field. Things are subject to change. That is for sure. Let's go along the edge. Got, got the Elm Creek Drift here. So, yeah, I am planning on uh, putting sheds here. Or oh, not not a ton. It's not like it's going to be a shed emporium. Okay. So, thank you, Helper. We're going to take back over. Because we can make this turn much, much faster. And if we're lucky... Oh, we just might get lucky. As soon as we get through the trees here. But we'll see that we only have to go up once. But if we have to go back down, that's fine. But yeah, I don't think we're going to need to refill. So this is going to be a nice, a very nice sunflower field. So what have we accomplished today? Well, we've got future money planted in the ground here. Oats, which we're really after the straw. You know what? I should have double checked. Pretty sure we can get straw from the oats. Uh, if not, uh, oops, uh, we'll have to buy something else. We'll have a barley field soon enough, but we're not buying that today. Got some money via some fertilizing uh, contracts. So yeah, we are extremely well positioned. So we will be moving forward to the month of April. In fact, I can imagine we'll be jumping forward uh, Probably even a May. We'll see what contracts become available. You know, obviously there's some things that we can always do to make some money. Here I thought, I remember thinking, uh, well, a number of episodes ago that, well, and of course we're just off. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, a number of uh, seasons ago, way back at the beginning of the series, like, okay, I think we're at a point where we don't need to do contracts. Which, technically is true, but uh, we can make some easy money with a few things, and as you've seen, a lot of things we just throw the helper on. 
while we take care of some other stuff on the farm. So if you're not playing with any uh, personal restrictions, such as helpers, great way to add some money to the farm for very uh, low work. But I do think uh, some of that work coming up is, hmm, no, it might not even be a harvest contract uh, next month. So maybe some fertilizing. We'll see. We will see. Uh, we do need to make sure we actually buy that barley field before it's ready to harvest. Now, in theory, we could get lucky in the sense that we get paid to harvest it. But I would rather have the barley. So we will buy that before does get harvested at least that's the plan so anyways we were able to accomplish our plan for uh today's episode i do hope you enjoyed it uh thanks for watching and we will see you next time bye for now